My name is Daniel Master. I'm a professor of archaeology at Wheaton College, and I'm director of the excavations at Tel Shimron in Israel. I'm so really excited about the Ultrapak because, it, as you can see, it's relatively small, and it's going to allow us to do things in the excavation trench that we've never done before. So we're going to take the Ultrapak into the field, and we plan every day to scan the entire area that we're excavating, which should give us a very high precision record of everything that's happened. And of course, because the Ultrapak can collect so many more than a million points a second in some of the settings that we have, we can get extremely high resolution surfaces that are created by the Ultrapuck and the software that's associated with it. Dr. Master's big idea for us is to combine archaeology and LiDAR by using each day taking a scan of every grid and then taking a scan the next day and subtracting one day from the other so you're left with like how much dirt they've moved the day before. Mm -hmm take static points, a couple of different static points around the square, and then we'll put those scans through the SLAM algorithm, and then we'll geo-rectify each of those using the furniture legs. That are geo-referenced using the total station that GIS has here, and they put it into the space capacity of this world. So that we can see subtly what's changed from Tuesday to Wednesday or Wednesday to Thursday. And by using this time-sequenced LiDAR, we hope to be able to extract point clouds that show us what we excavated on any given day. We're excavating a very complex three-dimensional puzzle, and we can reconstruct these worlds, not worlds that perhaps were ever seen by the archaeologist at the same time. I think the exciting part for me is just being able to uh, use this high-grade Velodyne sensor to recreate point clouds, and for me, that's something very new. Just being able to do that is very cool. When we often think of modern technology, we think of the way in which it's going to impact modern life. We think about new technologies that we're going to use every day, but we don't always think about the way in which this new technology can be used to preserve the past. And so one of the things we're excited about is taking something that's so current, so state-of-the-art, and using it to reconstruct life thousands of years ago, life that's been lost to history for, for, for millennia, and taking that and making it real for people today and using technology to do that.